Do I look in the camera? <laughs> uh, my 30-day commitment is um, that I will I will plan with detail and um, and make sure I leave before seven o'clock consistently. And what impacted me the most this week was learning everybody's niche going in and out of out of businesses and. Um, the value of getting the most money I could possibly get um, from the customer. And that's it. Joe, it's great to have you here this week, uh, other than this morning. <laughs> well, that was kind of nice. <laughs> that was a good part. We thought you were still. Joe, I appreciate your uh, diligence all week, your attention. I never saw your head nod. You're interested, you're serious, and I can't wait to see the change that's going to transpire in you in the next 30 days. Thank we you. believe in you, Amen. and uh, you believe in you too. Thank you. My 30-day commitment is to consistently meet two sides of the triangle before I go home at night. Um, as far as the most impactful part of the week, I guess, Randy, um, I've never heard a speaker like you. Sorry. I mean, you, I, could, I, I could have been in tears three or four times with some of the stories you tell. They're so emotional. You speak from the heart, and it, it, I think everybody in this room kind of feels everything you're all about, so I appreciate that. But in addition to that, everybody in this room, you know, I kind of expected the train to be what it is, but I don't think I expected to see the complete passion that everybody in this room has, and I think that more than anything is going to make everybody in this room successful. So, there you go. thanks. Brian was great. He, he yelled at me uh, when I turned my head. He made sure I was on point, and he was awesome the whole time. So, we love you, buddy. My 30-day commitment is uh, to leave the house by 6.30 and to tell 10 to 13 stories a day and to help 13 people a day and maybe more um, <clears throat> until I get 50. <laughs> but um, on, uh, on a real level of authenticity and the sense of this place I'm very hesitant and some of you may not know this but I'm very hesitant about people because I served in the Marine Corps for 10 years and so um, it's really changed my mind and I'm very very different and I know it and um, so I don't like meeting other people because sometimes I think they think I'm weird <laughs> and I'm sure I am <laughs> but um since the Marine Corps and I got out in 1998, this group of people has really touched my heart. And um, I thought it was going to be uh, different. And Randy says things that touch my heart. And for me to come in at FIB and to really see this place and to understand the way it works and to um, see that the people are real. It's kind of like when you believe in Jesus. You don't believe in them until you can actually see them. And that's real to me. And NFIB is too, and it just solidified in my heart that I view NFIB as a military service, a force. And so I'm a soldier in this army, and my job is a recruiter to recruit members and to make sure they're doing the right thing and to enroll everybody in America that I can. And that's why I do what I do. It's really not about the money for me. It's more about my family. I like to spend time with my kids. So I just want to thank each and everybody here because everybody here touched my heart. And thank you, guys.
He's like a great big ball of fire boy. Yeah, he is. Awesome guy. And I'm going to prank you every morning at 7 because I'm going to be up at 7, so you are too. <laughs> Everybody else. <laughs> so you guys are all great. Remember this. Awesome. <laughs>